Hey guys, welcome to my studio. I'm Michael Smell and this is Stinky Robot, episode number one. I've been wanting to shoot a YouTube video for a very long time now and start my own channel. And today I have finally done it and launched this video, which is video episode number one. I've got this channel up and going and I plan on shooting an episode almost every single week, if not twice a week. I plan on mainly focusing on sketches and conceptual ideas for my larger pieces. Let's do this. Let's get down. Let's draw our first robot. Let's start episode number one off right. And here we go. Let's draw. We're going to start off here with some real light sketch work just to kind of get an idea of where we're going with this drawing. So we're just going to lightly, very lightly sketch it in. As I work the sketch, I want to be real careful to make sure that I keep the pencil nice and loose and I don't end up embossing the pencil lead into the paper. Here I'm getting pretty happy with where the basic pencil outline has taken me. At this point, I'm not being overly concerned with doing an extreme amount of detail work, just enough to get a general idea of where the sketch is gonna progress. Next, I'll start outlining the drawing in pen and ink. Now you notice I do have quite a few pens here of varying line weights. It's not necessary that you use more than one pen. It's just something I like to do within my drawings, although most of this pen work will be covered up with acrylic inks once we get to that phase and very little will show. So obviously I didn't record myself putting the entire sketch together, instead opting to take various clips from the different stages of this sketch. So I'm curious to know what you think about this method or if you prefer to see me doing time lapses. I'm sure within the next few videos I will be doing a time lapse so I can compare side by side with myself to see what I think might be better, but I'm interested to hear what you think. So let me know. Now we're almost done with the pen and ink portion of this drawing, so I'm gonna quickly go in here and do some cross hatching just to define some shadows. Again, this is all gonna get covered up, at least most of it, when I go over with acrylic inks, so I'm not too worried about it getting perfect. Just a basic guide to where my shadows are gonna be. With the sketch finished up, it's time for the acrylic inks. But I really like the way this sketch has turned out. And so we're gonna start here with the background. And the background, we're just gonna get really, really wet. The more saturated the background, the more the inks will just kind of flow. And being in the background, we're just gonna kind of go through some abstract noise, mainly using some browns, various shades. I think I'm using three different colors of brown here as well as a little indigo and a little bit of pan's gray. We're just gonna blend it together and let the ink do its thing.
Now that we're moved into painting the robot, we're going to leave the paper dry. And this time, we're just going to make sure there's a decent amount of water on the brush. And that'll allow us to have more control with the ink and where it moves. We won't, be tendency, we won't have a tendency to uh, blow out as much. So we'll start working in, and we're working in layers. In the background, we just kind of let everything blend together. And on the robot itself, and the snake as well, we're going to be building up layers to build texture and color as well as our highlights and shadows. So we'll start with a very basic base layer of gray over the whole robot. And as you see now, I'm starting to go in, sort of add a little bit of the dark elements, the darker elements, and there's some of the shadows. And as I get all those blended in where I want them, I'll eventually start moving into doing a second layer on the robot. I'll be using a little bit of gray with white and gray mixed with paint gray as well so I can get those lights and shadows. And after I'm happy with the second and third layer, then eventually I'll come in and I'll do all my highlights and my shadows and really make the robot pop. Make it pop just like this. Now you can see I'm putting some white highlights in there. This is something very important to remember, the white is very translucent. So although you see me putting one white highlight layer in there, in reality I'm putting three, four, sometimes five. And just, the more white you add on top of white, the brighter it will get. And every time the ink dries, it settles back down, allowing you to see a lot of that leather, the under layer shining through. So the brighter white you want, the more layers you are going to have to do. So how many of you out there were guessing that the robot was going to be yellow? I went back and forth on which color to do, but I think yellow really makes it pop. So this is going to be a very yellow heavy piece. Now as we're adding the highlights into the yellow, we're going to do the same thing we did with the robot, except for I will be adding a little yellow into the white and then repeating, building layers until I'm happy with it. And adding a little white to this yellow, boy does it pop. It looks fantastic. So here's an important thing, you saw me do a little clean up there. Whenever you go over just a little bit, uh, color outside the lines, you get a little color in the wrong location, it's really easy to get rid of. All you need to do is just take a wet brush with no ink on it, and just wipe it clean with water. It'll, it'll just pull it right back off. As long as the, under, the ink that you want to stay is dry, it'll stay, and the ink is still wet, the water will just wipe it right off. Really easy to clean up, really easy to fix your mistakes. You also see me occasionally touch it with my finger. If I get a little too much water in a spot, I can either dab it with a towel or I can dab it with my finger. So a lot of times I'll just dab it with my finger and that'll take care of it right there. 
In keeping with the yellow theme, I've decided to go ahead and use yellow for the snake's underbelly as well. In the robot, we used Indian yellow, and so in the underbelly of the snake, I'm going to be using brilliant yellow. So a different shade of yellow should give it a slightly different effect, but keep it right there in that same color palette family. I'm not 100% sure what color of the body of the snake is going to be just yet, but I'm assuming since I have a lot of orange, yellows, and a little bit of reds, we're probably going to stick with blues and greens and just stay right there opposite of the color wheel. That should make it a brilliant piece and really make it all pop and come together. Now that we're starting to move into the body of the snake, as you can see, yeah, I did choose to go with the blues and the greens after all. I think I'll add a little bit of violet and purple in there as well. But as I'm blending these, there's gonna be a combination of doing what I did with the background as well as the robot. So in the beginning, we'll start really wet on the snake, allowing all of the blues and greens and purples to really blend together. And as we build the layers, we'll let all the paper to be drier and drier so we can build them upon that the various layers we'll start by the shadows and start building in between the scales darkening between the scales and as we build work our way forward we'll add more whites and more highlights and really start defining those scale textures and just like we did with the robot the more white you add the brighter they'll be so I'll add some color with the white so a little bit of green and white then a little bit of blue and white mix them together and then I'll build on top of that with just bright white. That'll really pop those scales. Well, we're getting pretty close to the end now. Just got a few minor things to button up. I've got to finish doing the eye detail here. We've got some buttons there on the chest plate of the robot. And a few minor touch-ups here and there. But while I finish it up in the video, I'd like to take a second and say, hey guys, thank you so, so, so much for listening and watching all the way through the entire video. I'm super excited to have my first video out there on this channel. 
and I'm really excited about what is to come. So thanks again. I'm happy to have it here on my channel. And you're going to see a lot more content just like the one here. Each painting is going to be completely different. Each one's going to have a different feel. You can expect lots of robots and animals for sure. That's kind of my bread and butter. But I'll also explore other subjects here on the channel. So I'll sit back and let you uh, finish watching me put the final details on the robot. And I'll be back again at the very end of the video. Well, there you have it. My very first video is completed, and what did you think? If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, and if you want to see more of the content that I'm going to create in the future, hit subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much. So, Atikab, have a great day.